All right, I want to talk about something that's often overlooked or maybe not even thought about, and that's mini workouts. Mini workouts are five to 10 minute workouts that you could do throughout the day. They're going to help tremendously, especially with increasing blood flow to sore or tight muscles. They're going to help with fatigue and alertness you might have issues with throughout the day. They're going to help you reduce stress. They're going to help you increase fat burning. And you can even sneak in some corrective exercises, which will really help you and your goals long term. So the intent of mini workouts isn't to replace your main workouts that you might do at the end of the or beginning of the day when you have more time. These are five to 10 minute workouts that you're going to incorporate throughout your day, whether it be a lunch or other break times you might have. And they don't have to be overcomplicated. Like you can see right here, I'm either walking or jogging or running on a treadmill. You could also do this without a treadmill. You can go for a walk at work or outside at a park. You could also use other traditional pieces of cardio like a rower or a bike. It really doesn't matter. All you're trying to do is get a little bit of blood flow help with whatever you need, whether it be fatigue or alertness or maybe relieving stress or loosening up sore tight muscles. It's pretty much up to you. Now, if you don't have traditional cardio or the ability to go for a walk somewhere else, you can also do shorter versions or mini versions of traditional workouts. Like right here, I'm doing rotational push-ups. If you didn't want to do rotational push-ups, you could also do push-ups from your knees. You could do regular push-ups right here. This is, these are air squats and they're called prisoner squats. I'm holding my hands behind my head. Here I'm thinking outside the box, doing some rows on the treadmill. Make sure if you do that, you're very careful. Here I've got a kettlebell and I'm just doing alternating reverse lunges with some rotation. Here I'm doing some core ab exercise. I'm doing a Russian twist. You can also do things like mountain climbers, like it was right there, and then go right back into squats. So how do mini workouts compare to other recovery strategies that I use or other people use? Actually pretty good, especially when you compare them from a flexibility time standpoint and also the minimal amount of money needed to do them if at all so if you look behind me infrared sauna i definitely recommend them and i got a good deal that was still fifteen hundred dollars nowadays you're looking at probably two thousand dollars to have an infrared sauna and you need time even if it just be 20 minutes after you work out to sit in it and then shower right after you're done you don't have to do that with many workouts you just do exercise for 5 to 10 minutes. You're probably not even sweating, really. If you are, it's very, very minimal. You don't have to take a shower. And compared to cold therapy, unless you're talking about, like, a cold shower first thing in the morning, or maybe you do it like I do where you stand outside for 5 minutes in your shorts, <laughs> which I think is great and it's cheap, but um, not everybody's going to want to do that. Or even something like red or infrared light therapy which can be cost prohibitive especially if you get a nice device like one from juve like a larger red or infrared light so when you compare all those factors take them all into consideration this is a great recovery strategy and it's the one that i recommend if you're looking to start one because you're not recovering well i hope this video helps guys i will have more content like this in the future and have a great day